Yo guys, ow, what is going on? Welcome back to another video now. Preview is coming out today. I have a perfect explanation to why it's coming out today because tomorrow, hopefully, the first day of my holiday, which is tomorrow, obviously I fly out and everything else. So hopefully tomorrow night it will be out. Now I can't tell you what time these are going to be released. That is, I genuinely don't know until I get there and get everything sorted. And basically have a day to day plan of exactly what I'm doing. So until then I can't tell you what time the videos will be released. But I'm going to try my hardest to get a video of my holiday every single day out. Being Obviously that's basically going to be a vlog. Like I did last year uh, in January. Obviously you know where obviously you know since I went to America. You now you guys with all the vlogs. But hopefully now I can bring back the seven days of uh, Tenerife, that's where I'm going, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can bring the uh, vlogs to you, but of course, that's why this is coming out a day early, is because tomorrow that video is going to be coming out. But yeah, Newport County, FA Cup 4th round, um, even though I'm going to be at the game, I just thought to you, one, I'll bring you a preview as always, and hopefully I can bring you some sort of review, obviously, some sort of review uh, on Saturday night, linked into hopefully my second day of my holiday. Uh, manager Michael Flynn, Stadium is Rodney Parade. Uh, and like I say, so far I've heard that Newport have actually sold 850 tickets of the 5,000 that they were allocated. Now, 850 tickets for a League 2 team is not bad at all. I know it's the FA Cup and I know more fans will come. Once they see it's Middlesbrough, it kind of makes it a bit, a bit of a big tie to them. Of course, they, like I say, man, you know, if this was an Arsenal or a Chelsea or Manchester United playing Newport, no doubt the 5,000 will be sold out. But we would be Middlesbrough. Of course, they still see this one as quite a big game to them because obviously, but are a few teams above them inside the footballing world. And you know, it's fair play to them that you know they've only sold 850 tickets. They probably will sell a thousand now to four by the time the game comes around. But you know what? Terrific support by the Newport fans there. Safe journeys to Borough. It's a long way to go. And hopefully, you guys uh, can enjoy the game and hopefully enjoy Middlesbrough, the surrounding and everything else. And hopefully. You have to go and see the Newport Bridge, which is in Middlesbrough, which is pretty mad, but yeah, as well as the air transporter one. If you look back to how Norwich have got to the fourth round of the FA Cup, they've done well. You know, given that last year, I'd say last year, do you know what I mean? These went all the way with Tottenham, and it's fantastic. This year, they knocked out the champions of England a few seasons back, Leicester City. They've actually took them out the trophy around at number three. But let's go for it. So, obviously, round one, Metropolitan Blades have beaten 2 0 away, round two. Next went to a replay against Wrexham and then did them at home 4-0 in the replay. Round 3, beat Leicester 2-1. It was 1-0 to Newport, Leicester scored. And then of course Newport came back, it got the second goal through a penalty. Won the game 2-1 at home. I mean, what a time to be alive, if you are a Newport fan, yeah, it's fantastic. So well done to Newport for getting to this stage. Uh, and I say, most of all, good luck, you know what I mean? Good luck on Saturday and let's see what happens. Of course, Borough came to this point in round 3 and the first half was dead. Well, the second half, we actually managed to bang in five goals. Nobody seen it coming. I, for one, certainly did not see it coming. Second half, the dreams. And like I say, 5 0 the butter. Can we do it again on Saturday with all respect to Newport? Who knows? But, you know, I'm looking at it now thinking, you know, the last time my League 2 team came to us, we actually went to penalties with them. Of course, this one won't go to penalties. It'll be a replay. And the chances are, I'll be over the replay after make the journey down to Newport. So I would like the tie to be over and done with and butter through to the next round. On Saturday, done and dusted nicely, and like I say, do you know what I mean? That's how I would like it to be. Will we see the new boy as well? By new boy, I mean John Orby McKell. It got released what, about four hours ago that he's a butter player, and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about this guy. Seeing people don't like him, people think he's this, that, the other. I think he's a fantastic signer for the butter. So I like he won for Chelsea. People say, I know we only scored one goal, yeah, but look at my the experience he's going to have inside the dressing room. You know what I mean? All the young lads are all going to be looking up to him. He's a great player to have inside of the dressing room, and overall, he's probably one of the better midfielders that we've got at the minute. And of course, one outgoing as well, Grant Ledbetter. Looks like he could be going back to Sunderland. Ledbetter, Grant, fighting for everything that you've done for the club, man. Absolute legend, in my opinion. Um, what a servant he was. Captain of the Butter. Passion for the Butter and passion for the game was unbelievable. So, like I say, if he does go in this window, thank you for everything there, Grant. He's been proper, unreal, man, having you here. What a servant of the club. We're welcoming in John Obi McKell, who may start against Newport. We don't know yet, but we may see him. Uh, and obviously, league positions going into this one. Well, Newport actually 13th in League Two on 39 points. They are far off the playoffs, so of course, you know what I mean? They're still chasing that um, sort of goal. But the thing that tells me on Saturday, Newport are going to come here, knowing that they're underdogs, knowing that nobody really has them down to win this game, and no pressure is going to be on Newport. All the pressure on Butter. We're at home as well. Now, in our last home game, there was booming after 30 minutes. Adam Clayton came out and said what he said. 
Is it still going to be hostile? Is it still not going to be hostile? You know what I mean? We don't know these things. All I'm hoping for is that we do get the win and hopefully then the crowd sort of just is a bit more positive because I'll be honest with you at the minute, yeah, it is a bit hostile at Riverside. So hopefully we can just go on to Saturday, win the game and just get it over and done with and go from there and hopefully the positivity comes back because I think that's what the players need at the moment in time. I've been thought about obviously our last game and season so far. I'm thinking it's no good coming out here being frustrated every week or whatever or doing every week. I think it is important now that we just try to get behind the lads on Saturday and just go from there. Um, in terms of new Newport's uh, top goal scorers, listen man, they're banging in the goals. X-Boy, I I think he's called, uh, from Hartlepool, that's why I call him X-Boy from Hartlepool. 16 goals and 5 assists. Jamil Matt has got 13 goals and 2 assists. And Dan Butler's got 4 goals and 5 assists. That's in all competitions, that's for the Butler in all competitions. Bresson Bonga's on 9 goals. John Hugo's on 7 and 1 assist. And Ashley Fletcher, who could be moving away, he's on 4 goals and 1 assist. Now, in terms of starting 11, it's slightly changed. Uh, so we're going to go for Dan Randolph in goal, even though it probably will be Dimmy or something like that. I want to see Randolph in goal. Uh, the back four, Mamutovic, I want to see a right back. At the end of the day, we keep saying we don't have a right back at the club. Now, this guy's just been recalled from Yeovil. He's having a terrific season for them. Well, no reason why I can't go right back. That is his position as well. So instead of playing Dale Fry out of position, give Mamutovic a goal there in right back position. Next to him is Spence, and then next to him is Danny Back, and then of course George Friend at left back. Uh, the two in front of the centre backs is going to be Mikel, I want to see him make his debut alongside Besic. On the right hand side, I want to see Tab. On the left hand side, Van Napada. And in behind, Peter Sombolongo, who's going to be up front, I want to see Johnny Housen. That team there is strong. That team on there should be able to beat the 11 man of Newport. And like I say, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, you know what I mean? Bear, bearing in mind that Newport are going to come here as underdogs, no pressure on them. All the pressure's on Butter, but hopefully we can put it behind us and just get on with the game in hand, try and get past Newport and then advance on to the next round. Hope you guys have enjoyed the previews always. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Check out all my social medias. The link in the description. Thank you guys as well. We've just hit over 300 likes on the Facebook page, AJT. So thank you guys for that. And like I say, if you've not liked it yet, go and like it. Link in the description. And I will catch you guys again soon. Oh, the butter.